hello guys welcome back and in this video we will see how we can receive the FCM message into our application so for this again go inside tools tools and firebase and here select cloud messaging and scroll down and you will see the fourth step is handling messages so for handle message we will we have to create a class that will extend this class so create a class new and name it my firebase or anything you can name it anything but whatever class you are going to create you need to extend firebase messaging service now just copy this method Control C and paste it here. Now import the classes and you can create a tag variable and you can name it anything like FCM example message or anything. Now whenever we will receive the message this method will be executed and we are displaying the FCM message received in the log so let's see the app is receiving the message or not but first we need to define the service inside our manifest so for this copy this it's written here what to define and paste it inside your manifest file inside application tag now that's it now to receive the notification we need the fcm token and uh, currently we will use the firebase console so first we will we can copy the token from here so again I will wipe out the emulators data so that we can copy it from the log or you can also display the token here from shared preferences so that token will be always displayed in the log so and one more thing I have also written these two lines as when the app is running the second time the token will not generate and this broadcast will not be received so in that case we will display the token from shared preferences so I have written these two lines so now we will we can also display the token so we don't need to wipe out the emulators data every time here so simply write log d and my FCM token shared or anything and then put this so copy it control C and paste it here so it will display token every time you will run the app into log from there we can copy so let's run your application again Now while it is running go to your firebase console and select the application in which you are working in my case it is my FCM example and select it and then go to notifications from here we can send the notification messages so you have to click on new message and you can see here that uh, you can send the message to user segment particular topic or a single device so in this video we will see how we can send notification to a single device using FCM registration token so we need the token now let's wait when the application is running then we can copy the token from here and we can send the notification oops we have to write this line inside so this is returning null here and that's why we are getting the error so we have to insert this line inside this if and 
this will work now now let's run the application again so we have the access token now from android monitor we can copy it so let's search make sure you are viewing the emulator in which you are working so in my case this one is the emulator so if this one is selected i will not see the token so select this one and find again refreshed token so this is the token so we will copy it from here copy this and come to your firebase console and type the message you want to send test message and you can add a optional label so just and then paste the fcm registration token here and click on send message and hit send and you will receive the message so currently we are not building a notification instead we, we can see the notification here in log as we are displaying the notification in the log that is received you can see it here now let's search notification message body you can see we have received the notification message so here we can call a method and we can build the notification to display it in our application and notification area so we will see this in the next video that how we can build the notification meanwhile we have completed the receiving notification part so we are receiving the notification from the server so that's it for this video and in the next video we will see how we can build the actual notification to display in the application so if you are having any confusions or troubles you can leave your comments and if you are liking the video please hit subscribe hit like and also share the video to help me reach out maximum audience and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video